against uh, DC United and the Impact Alley make just one change from that starting 11 tonight. It's a surprise of tonight, a team who seem to be trending upwards in the tournament, unbeaten in the group stages, and one change also to follow that up with, and then uh, the 1-1 uh, one -one draw against the Union to clinch top spot. Think about how important it was for them to have that positive start against... 12, Ali in his first full MLS season last year as Hawan gets around the back. Promise here for Orlando, it's nicely done, is there a finish? Oh, there should have been! Mauricio Pereira with a clear sight of goal. And we told you about Ruan, down the right-hand side, always an outlet. Give and go, late tracking back from Montreal Impact, and this is just beautifully done. The look by Nani, the back heel, the fill, the finish is coming, one nothing is going to be great. <sighs> Not so much. Mauricio Pereira with a wasted opportunity. So than say Montreal, for instance. Well, and the weather is relatively, I should say relatively benign tonight. 88 degrees, yes, at kickoff, but only 56 humidity. Very well, how meaningful is that? In the case of Chris Mueller, you have to think about... And he's ball me well, oh, Mueller couldn't finish! Still manages to back heel to keep it alive, but the initial chance may have surprised him. He couldn't react. A knock in the process. Good switch over the top by Rosell. Nani with a nice first touch, and then just the early cross that puts it into an area in which Diop has to make a decision. Akindele has to make a decision. Luis Binks. Yeah, he was the first winner of that award ever uh, si since Nacho Piatti had been dominating it the previous four years. In comes the free kick. Oh, Gaiesi uh, seemed initially to come for it and then change his mind. Yet another case in which I think Rod Fanny ends up getting on the way of Romel Kyoto. Kyoto doesn't quite see Fanny or Fanny doesn't quite see Kyoto. They make it uncomfortable for each other. He goes a meaningful attack by the Montreal Impact. Nani, who's 12 goals. That, that too was delicious. Kyoto. It's a good flighty ball for the Impact. And Gaiesi uh, actually fumbled the header from Piet that didn't really pack any sort of punch. It, it's almost an excuse me header. It's like, oh, I'm here, I'm in a good position. Swing the head, man. Yes, he has to. Just been running uh, out of gas a little bit over the last uh, few minutes, despite Nani's best intentions and a couple of moments where he might have provided the opening goal for teammates. A look at the M that has ever been admitted to before, and certainly not on American television. It's uh, Orlando build again, and this time it works beautifully. Is it going to count? Mendes finally breaking through, but the offside flag will deny them. I think of the unique perspective of Nani. A lovely touch. Oh, Mendes got a touch, and Akindele has an open goal to play it into. And Orlando City's pressure finally pays off in the 60th minute. The breakthrough arrives. And it was a uh, disastrous moment for the Montreal Impact defense and their goalkeeper, Clement Diop. Oh, my goodness. How can we explain this? I'm going to try my very best. Rod Fanny, assist of the week. And where's Clement Diop going? Rod Fanny has his player picked up. I don't, I'm not sure where Clement Diop is going. I guess he's anticipating that Mendes is going to get him behind, but Rod Fanny got there in plenty of time. If Diop is actually in his position, he's trapping this, or at the very least, clearing it first time. Instead, tapping City from my kind of range. No chance he would miss that. Not even Jackson Mendes misses this. Akindele won nothing, Orlando. Now he's going to the bench. In comes the free kick. Oh, and the header was flicked on. Just a uh, faint touch by Yuka 
Ray Dala, the substitute, has come our way. Zero shots on the night, 12 of 16 passes completed. Read what you will into that as Jackson Hamel goes to work inside the penalty area. Did it take a flick behind? It did. It will be a corner. Anthony. Back in it comes, and the header down is just wide. Romel Kyoto has been waiting for just that sort of chance tonight. One of the few times that we see Kyoto in that central position. It's a good service from the left-hand side by Corrales. In between the two centre-backs, Kyoto rises above. It's a good header. Heads it down. Everything is perfect about it except just wide. Good look for the target goalpost cam inside uh, Pedro Gaiesi's goal. He knew it, didn't he? He knew that with 17 goals he scored in his MLS career. The chase is on here for Orlando. Oh, and uh, flying interception. Diop got the ball. Ciaruti. Will Pedro Gaiesi have a save to make here in the closing stages? That's looped up. Gaiesi has to come for it. And now Wanyama underneath it. Jansen away, Jamutinho for a winning team. Remember calling games there where things were going south quickly. And the frustration was, we're here, we want to support, we, we want to get behind this team, but give us a reason to get behind this team. Maybe Oscar Pareja and this group is able to do that. Now Smith able to recover. Well, there it is. Now we are in the vicinity of the Magic Kingdom and maybe something special is starting to happen for Oscar Perea and company Orlando City getting over the line it wasn't perhaps as pretty as it might have been Ali but they did enough and that is what counts when it comes to knockout football Orlando City through to the quarterfinals the Montreal Impact